Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as the Martial Republic. And we're led by Jack Reed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Those in the Martial Republic are well suited to taking care of themselves, having passed down through the years a willingness for f to fight for their own and a keen understanding of both living off the land and scavenging what they need. That individualistic nature makes leading them an experience not unlike hurting belligerent uh, big corners, however. Such leadership is its own skill set, one that Jack Reed is doing his best to master threats from both inside and outside the Republic, fair enough. But we do have a slightly unique focus tree. Uh, we step to Wyoming. Wyoming's been a stopping place for many of the years. It's a shame the call never lasts. Followed with Altum Burgess's legacy, jealousy can be a powerful and destructive force. And fools and frauds to many of the steps of Wyoming. Where a welcome escape, a lonesome raid, a road for travelers on their way to the woeful lands of Colorado, or a steady trail on a pilgrimage to legends of civilization to the West, however. In the days just before the war that broke up the world, the peace and solitude shattered irrevocably. With the arrival of the Alton Burgess mining concern in southern Wyoming, it was not long before economic and ecological chaos broke out. Despite heavy protests from many local towns and ranchers, the company purchased much of the region's land and all its mines. Setting up a new HQ in the tiny town of Farson after evicting the inhabitants, it was not long before their drills, explosives, and picks started to shake the very land apart. Working in a frenzy, they were setting up dig sites and new massive drills as quickly as possible. While many locals were hired to help construct these new machines and excavations, there was little to no regard for safety. Injuries and fury over balance checks mounted, yet the company still found the money to pay for security staff to keep out those protesting and any other troublemakers. In truth, Alton Burgess had spent nearly every penny he had on his venture, hoping to make an enormous score under the nose of his larger rivals. He spent much time in the Appalachian Hills spying on the Atomic Mining Services experiments with nuclear mining and ultrasite. Determined to recreate their success and results, he pushed his staff and miners to start blasting before the last of the cash dried up. On October 15th, he got much more than he wanted. The company managed to procure a dirty bomb. When detonated, it turned Farson and much of the area into a radioactive nightmare. Relief efforts had barely begun, with the rest of the world followed in into irradiated madness. What supplies have been gathered for relief before the drums, the bombs dropped? Stockpiles of medical chems? Fresh water. Crate after crate of thirst-quenching Nuka-Cola. Well, eventually we're going to have our own trade notes. Let's go with the uh, support equipment, maybe? We don't really need it. But we'll take it anyways. War in Wyoming. Mole miners burst forth from the far sun crater and beyond. With these terrible monsters leaving behind their hovels, it became evident the planes were no longer safe for travelers. Something would have to be done or else they would never stop. The Republic of the Marshals. The Marshall Republic saw its roots early. Before the war, before the nukes, they were the free states, anarchists, secessionists, doomsday preppers, you name it, they were it. Though the movement that originated out of Appalachia, word of its prophetic calls were heeded by other call others, and in the wake of the Alton Burgess's corporate ventures, they were anything but tolerated, especially as more and more of his workforce began to identify as members of the movement. The free staters stood as tall as they could, fighting back against strike busters and pseudo Pinkertons with all their might, but they were losing fast. Things ended up becoming so bad that even their National Guard was called in as a response to the strikes and presentations across the state. It was only when the bombs fell that the Free Staters were stayed within their bunkers, and the enemies left to fend for themselves as nuclear winter settled upon the lands outside. It was in the ashes after the fallout that the Free Staters emerged, seeing their old foes in the National Guard having survived as ghouls. Surprisingly, they left behind the grudges, and began to resettle the surface once more as brothers and sisters of the Free States, or, as they would soon be known, the Marshall Republic. Glory to the Republic. The free State lives on. No more attack, more defense. We are the Republic. We are the Free States. Um... We have power armor, but it's not very good power armor. Once isolated, now respected. Once the Free States men had held themselves uh, underground, staying out of the affairs of the surface. But when nuclear fire destroyed the world above, they were just predicted as it would. The radiation began to clear, and then there was nothing to be scared of anymore. They sent it to the surface, and the rest is history. I don't think we get another research slide here. Oh, yeah, we do. Chaos in Wyoming and beyond. Over time, our little republic grew and grew, stretching out into the old Dakotas. If there, it was there we met the forefathers. Fanatical tribals hellbent on worshipping a fictitious rendition of the Founding Fathers. We fought tooth and nail against them after the first divine movements against us, but we only pushed them north. The numbers were great, and it was only their firepower and experience that allowed us to break their hold on the region. Even now, they rest, gathering strength to the north, and they intend to return home soon. As if things couldn't get worse, our friends to the south. The Highland Watch are in danger. Supposedly, mole miners have burst forth from the ground and threatened to consume all of Wyoming in their wake. Though we may be able to send a helping hand. It would open us up for a quick sand attack from the forefathers. It may be risky, but losing the watch to monsters is a costly thing indeed. Frontiers folk must stand together. We look after our own. So right now, what do we have here? So it kind of something unique for us. A visit today, rumble for Mount Rushmore. Though the Marshall Republic once pushed the forefathers out of their ancestral home, they'll never give up. Soon they'll strike again, and Mount Rushmore shall be theirs once again. Hmm. The Highland Watch, because these guys are here. Far Sun. 
We could help him out, or maybe we could take him out ourselves. The longer we have, the more time we have to build ourselves up. So, more war sport, though. Mm. Look at that war sport. War sport can be a little more challenging to get to sometimes. Um, homes away from home, rapid settlements, and rapid city. We were recovering from four fathers. Stability would be nice. If the Baron's Irie is alive, this will grant the event the Baron's Decree. If it's at war with the Northern uh, Cons, we'll carry out a raid while they're distracted. If the Baron is dead, it gives us political power to 50. Let him come in. Um, trade deal, move Baron Dues, the Marshals take a stand. Over and across the river. The Baron and all his men. The Baron and the Irie have long since troubled the people of Marshall. His evil money pollutes the minds of our shopkeepers and political figures alike. Whether we want it or not, his influence is everywhere. The Baron's Decree. Get rid of a raid. Well, let's just go ahead and do that one. I want a basalt caravan company. Once, they were cruel caravaneers who intended to manipulate their way through the economy. And then the Baron showed them up uh, every step of the way. Now they're our friends because there's kinship and being screwed over. Also, we're using Oral Blues, Oral Blues generic decisions, uh, Oral Blues tech expansion. Uh, since we have men, uh, let's go with refined warfare. We have, we have some power armor. It's not great, but it's power armor still. Um, so, we can get an expansion program too. I always like getting that one. But I always do the Golden Gecko as well. Who do we have here? Military theorist, land doctrine. We'll probably go with this guy. Probably for the best. What do we have here? Recovering from the Forefathers' raids. The Baron's Decree. The Baron and the Irie have long since lorded over the Wyoming frontier, and the Baron Augustus Bailey, yet another long winded shadow of the corporate taint of pre war America. As much as Jack Reed and other higher ups in the Republic despised him, they knew that his men had most of the shopkeepers, farmers, and scabs in his pocket. Resisting him was not an option, or was it? After all, he's just one Baron. And rumor has it that a couple of newcomers in the West have his eye. Why don't we reach out and say hi? I don't like venture capitalists, period. Oh, dues to the Baron. Not good. Risking anger now is a poor choice. I'm gonna go with that one. The Marshal takes a stand. We've been pushed around by the Baron and the folk for li like him for years. Some start acting our weight on the world stage and putting our fists where our power is. Readout. I think these guys eventually go to war with him. Oh, they are, they're already at war. Can we just find them too? I don't know. But we'll do it anyways because that would be really good for us. Uh, homes away from homes. The old bunkers are a generation or two away from us now, but that doesn't mean we don't still use them. Some of them could even be up into uh, production stations. Rapid City Redevelopment. On the wake of the Forefathers' Banishment, we've got a lot of material and space to work with here. Why don't we show Dakota some Wyoming gumption? Rapid City Marshals. Skilled. Intelligent Fortune Finder. Fathers. Well, I guess four fathers will come try to kill us first, I guess. Yeah, 165 days. How many more days do we have for this one? Because if we can go in there fast as well, you might be able to do something. Maybe, maybe not. I just don't want to see the Baron's Irie down here. Or the Northern Conch, really. Either one. Which one's Douglas? Oh, Douglas is over there. That's good. Um, Rapid City Development. Yeah, might as well. We have our own little complex to take care of as well. And we're gonna grab you next. Reassess a state. Oh, followers establish themselves, that's fine. The four files will come for what they eventually lost. We need to be ready no matter the cost. They might have broken off a lot of crap on their way out, but that doesn't mean we need to keep crying about it. Let's try. We're gonna do that too. And we can do all this stuff, and we probably will eventually. No men to spare, that's pretty normal for us. Uh huh. Over and across a river. The plague lends it to the legend nobody goes in, nobody goes out. Except for us with our hazard gear. The last readout are old friends of ours, maintaining our trade is good for both of us. Rapid city, it'll meant in rapid city. Uh, let's go and lower these, yeah. In years past, Rapid City had been a derelict shell full of raiders and troubles, dominated in large part by the raging forefathers' tribe. It was only in fervor that we pushed east, sacking them out of their ancient home outside their mountain and pushing them north. 
Since then, the city has become a haven for the wayward, a place where sensible people can come to make something of themselves as such. It has led to an influx of people into a quaint little republic, all with their own ideas and machinations. Whilst many carry themselves with pride, others are more motivated by the primal things such as greed. Who do the people look out for? Themselves? Their country? The people shared their wealth well. Mm. Work for themselves. And we want to reassess the state too. Scrapping old machines. Because I do want to get down here too. I want the economic node badly. Well, there's plenty of old junk around the black the block that we can clear out and make into something better down the line. Let's see what we can't smash. An HEV. Between the plague lands and all the other crap in the region, we're very lucky to have suits of power armor we can allow to count on. If the watch had helped us make these suits back years back, where would we be? Yeah, so we get friends even beyond the wolf. It goes to Assassin City. Ah, the plague lands have long since been a terrifying legend to those who live outside of it. And even in a worse reality for those of them. Still, there are those with stalwart hearts and a care for what matters most, surviving in a world once destroyed. Hush whispers speak of the heroes of the last redoubt. The same would stand against the madness beyond the walls, but some know better. They'll struggle to make it in there, but they are survivors for a reason. With designated meeting spots, we send quarantine crews to conduct trade operations with the denizens of the redoubt, offering supplies and knowledge to one another. Though it is a quaint thing, friends in the waste are nothing to ever balk at. How oh, sweet. Oh, look at that. That's good. Poor fathers have to die first. So we're going to do all of these in HEV, of course. Uh huh. And, uh, I guess we might as well do this one. Let's see, do we have uh, any power armor unlocked? We have a power armor frame. No. We'll get that one done. unlocked anyways for now, too. But we're going to need it. Baron's Diary is actually making a comeback. Never mind. I, I was wrong. Well, I usually, whenever I play it as the Baron's Diary, I usually get taken over by the Northern Continent myself. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? We're not going to do it like this. These guys are only 10 combos, which really sucks. But whatever. Should be good enough. I'm gonna beeline for the capital first. Hello, Buffalo. Nice. Uh -huh. Cool. And then... If they can't come to hear me beg, the four fathers will be gone. They, we stand tall against the greatest foe yet. Yeah, Rapid City's not just ours, but it's a bustling in more and more in the follow of our victory. Our name draws more respect than ever. That'd be good to do. Air and sea, the first, the fires upon the hills. The frontier must be, mo maybe mostly peaceful, but times grow tough and some folks desperate. Changes must be made. And a whole thing about beans. Wyoming's a peaceful place with plenty of room for our home setting. Of course, we got really to work on some things here, but that's everywhere. But less so here. It's kind of nice sometimes here, you know, when things aren't blowing up all the time. Well, they've gone to war with us, and we're holding them off. Oh, we're doing pretty well so far. We might use enforcers maybe in the end. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, you can be inspirational, why not? But we are going to do war support stability. A little war support. Ants in the lovely art of something. Ants are a-holes. No, really. Uh, they love to take crap and bury it, like it'll be used later. Send a crew in there, blow the thing heck, and oh, screw it. First, you need to gather the stuff they stole, and then and then you gotta get the nectar, and oh, uh, for F's sake, forget all the irrigating and crap. What in the world, world, wide, wide world of sports are we doing? Beats me. As we were increasing our power, but we no longer are. I'd like to scavenge for stuff, but we can't. I'll build some labs. Okay, never mind, we have no money. You know what? If we have no money, let's optimize our trading. And then we're going to go with the finer points of American progressivism. See, son, the more flowery you say something, the more it has meaning, even if it don't. And then what do we want? Hearts and minds, maybe? Mm, hunting wild beasts. There are many horrible creatures that roam the fields of Wyoming at night. Well, some tragic leftovers from Alton Burgess's carelessness in times gone by. Hunting them will not just make the land safer, but improve the finesse of our warriors, and eventually factories for the fires. There is a fire in every working individual's heart, passion for a crowd that's untapped. Why not let them express themselves with productive means? Oh, they're actually war with someone else now too, look at that. Holy cow. It's now February, let's grab this. I guess we're going in. Especially since they basically just committed suicide here. Sanding rocks is going to be a problem. Why do they get to take all the territory? No, we're taking this. And we're taking this too. You can fight us for it. You might win. Yeah, we're gonna take everything. Which would probably put us in a war with Standing Rock. And which they do have. 
horses. Bowman. All right, so if that's the case, you guys come over here. Uh, you guys will get crushed pretty easily. If anything, I want you guys to help us take these guys out fast. So, like, one, two. It's a one, two punch. Uh, more political power would be good. Expand army training. Go ahead. Work as needed, which is nice. Get some more research speed. Good stuff. But then we'll do, if they came to here, note me beg, for our fathers of God. We'll stand tall against the greatest foe. Yep. Rapid season, not just ours, but it's bustling more and more in the fallout of our victory. Our name draws more respect than ever. Uh, Jack Reed, of course, he's the leader of the people. Of course he would be. More PP. Improved country management, less than 75% stability. Well, whatever. Set it all our people down. Probably not. Nice, because I want that to be an economic node. That'd be fantastic. And we have a 4 research slot, which is good. Because, my god, do we need it. Alright, so what's next? We can do the National Guard, add more development. Army XP, command power. We are the Free States. Looks like more development. And better infantry production cost. Intermediate power armor, which means we're going to be a basic. Sophisticated infantry. Uh, National Guard training, more organization, which is good. Military factory construction speed, resolute and ready. Popular figurehead. If they came to hear me beg. A tribute from MacArthur. Hello, oh, Santiago. Undoubtedly afraid of her prowess, offers us tribute, energy, weapons, and caps that we can use against the Brotherhood. Oh, we will, but surely she should know these weapons can be turned against her as well. The Brotherhood, then MacArthur. A peaceful hand. Oh. Oh, we should probably race down here then. And a man of the people. Well, I guess we want the National Guard next. Once upon a time, the National Guard wanted us more than dead, buried, forgotten, you name it. All it took was the nuclear payloads to make them see where they were coming from, but at least in the end, we saw eye to eye. That's good. Concentrated warfare, good. Um, I guess hit him hard. I guess produced a lot of guns. We're out. So produce them even harder. Um, with here. Mm. I'm going to do both these first. And supply line. Plenty of the old guard remember the supply lines before the war. And are willing to help us make iron out our own and bring some semblance of sequence to it all. Look at all. Look at the old. In the way, suits of power armor like this go a long way to making someone stand down. Investing in our own power armor is key to success as a nation in the pre-war military exercise. They weren't good enough for their job to kill us for good, but they were good enough to survive a genuine nuclear blast. That's a heck of a thing, ain't it? Yeah, that's a heck of a thing, yeah. Nice. So we'll go with that. Get the arms workshops and really start maybe building in here. Begin a route, yes. Boom. Promote the, promote the node. It's at level zero, which means nothing. Oh god. I promote it again. Because it does have quite a bit of development already. I want to maximize this development as much as possible. Excellent. Right. Good, do it again. Good thing I'll get all this political power. Because this money's going to come in handy. Good god. Uh, sure. Not much right now, but it'll be someday. Okay, level 5. Thank God we got 2.44 political power a day. Alright, so now you're level 5. We've got to continue to increase you. Get more guns. Look at the old. Just look at them. Look at them. And pre war military exercise. They weren't good enough at their jobs to kill us for good, but they were good enough to survive a nuclear power blast. I just read that one. I can't think anymore. I can't remember anything anymore. What the heck? That's good. We will need some anti-tank. Honestly, we probably should research that next. Good stuff. Hmm. Yeah, military signing bonuses. We'll definitely need that. Mm, no, we're good. And how about the settlements? Send killer, you die. Do we get to go to war with Standing Rock eventually? Hey, at least that's good. Because I don't like the way they look at us. So as soon as we can make enough anti-tank equipment, we'll start pumping it out and use it against them. Because we're really going to need that. Because they do want to get down here fast. The Free States. The Free States were a secessionist. They didn't trust vault and so controlled their own fate in the end. As you can see, it worked out fairly well for them. Good. 
And for this one, flexibility command. Um, we can be flexible. I think that'll suit us. Sixty caps. Wow. Give it a seven. Now to level eight, hopefully. Nice. It's not high enough yet. Uh, no, we can piss him off. It's fine. Faithful. And Rapid City. Did we already build? Are we maxed out on Rapid City here? Because let's finish this military factory first, or these two. Because now we're going to need some serious anti-tank rifles. Not that there wasn't serious beforehand, but you know, whatever. Planes. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Good. Very good. And anti-tank. Oh, oh, I guess we have saws here too, huh? We gotta look at this earlier. Power armor. Anti-tank. We have no dynamite too. Look at that. Huh. Free state during the NCR. The free states. Oh, the secrets we kept. Seceding from the Union was never easy, and neither was working against strike busters and genuine military men. Blending of the old secret sites are still in action today, producing weapons and greasing barrels for effective use. The finest thing in this here world is a gun that shoots the best of them all. And consulting logs. The old logs left behind by the first of the marshals have plenty of old tips on them. Listen to them some sometime would be a great idea. No more manpower? Sure, why not? Okay, we can promote it again. Beautiful. Alright, we'll go to level 10. This Casper we go. This Casper is also another trainer which I would like to get too. Well, I didn't think in the first 20 minutes, or 22, 23 minutes, we'd get all the way up here. Level 10 trade node already. But, I wanted to rush it, so. Consulting the logs, of course, and resolute and ready. The marshals need to be ready for anything that could come forward, after all. Anything that can happen in the wasteland. And if you aren't ready for the worst, are you really going to make it far? More stability, more war support, and we'll be able to form the, Repu the Dakota Republic. Nice. You know, since we're here anyways, Republic Rangers, you're not very good, but you can have some anti-tank. The power armor that we have, it's not very good, but you can also have some anti-tank. You know, since we're here, power armor, yeah, that's a bit too much. Boom, there we go. Update. Good. Finest things in the world. Hey, sophisticated infantry. We got sophisticated people here. Lots of sophistication. So once we really start clearing that away, that'll be good. But it's gonna take some time. Um, sure, why not? Is it ready? Up and down the highway. Nothing clear as I had like a mine day midday drive. Now if only we could find a working pump. And jack of all trades. Master of none, still better than master of one. Go and train, guys. You'll be fine. Sell some logs. And after that, a peaceful hand. The forefathers have eased us on uh, eased on us after everything. We should extend a hand and go in the future. Not as enemies, but as friends. Uh, we'll see. I still want more manpower. I don't know. It's useful. Alright, still in like a 300 some. Not ideal. But we're 180 for uh, caps, which is pretty good. Resolute and ready. Find scientists, yes. Build some more labs, yes. Alright. Air and sea. For the surroundings, it's easy to forget the beauty of nature, even more so uh, if we forget to use this great big sky and our many rivers for advantage. The fields of Wyoming. Wyoming is a beautiful and vast land full of opportunities for growth. We must take advantage of it so their children may live easier. Sure, why not? Do we have a couple planes we could use, maybe? We have no airfields, huh? Not ideal. Well, I didn't want to build it there, but whatever. Yeah, the Sisters of Steel. Oh, Montana Chapter's not here. Well, it's basically them. 
And what? You do that. So that we continue expanding the marshal's finest. Makes it a little strong, because we're not this is not the strongest power armor that we've got. Good stuff. Nice. My bad. Good. Good, good, good. In the meantime, we're gonna start just finding these guys, because I do not want them to get to see them. Never mind. Too strong and powerful. Oh wait till we're done with uh later the part of us. From the Dakota Republic. Kind mercenary. Caravan guard. Uh that sounds like it would suit us actually quite well, a caravan guard. Defense, less damage garrison. It's, it's alright, it's not great. What else we got here? Maybe greasers would be good. Yeah, power armor. A little less hardness, but whatever. Yeah, hearts and minds. But people ready to defend themselves will answer a call a thousand more times to action. Yeah, that makes sense. Outsmarting our betters. Many great forces around us surround the lands of Wyoming. What if one tries to breach our safety? We know the land's better than anyone. We won't just try to make use of it. We'll make a part of our advantage. Chief of the Army Town Defender. We'll go and bring some civilization to these fine, fine folks. 2270. So it's not too bad. Plant cultivation in the fields of Wyoming. Of course, the waters of Wyoming. Though they are far from safe to drink in such times, the lakes and rivers of Wyoming are far better than others found in the wasteland. With enough jury rigging, we can establish a set of purifiers to help us with thirst. An escape from hardship. Many people stayed in Wyoming by accident. Maybe the caravan fell apart, maybe they just liked the people. Or maybe it was just the weather. These people are quick to chat with the newcomers and work with the locals. The fields of Wyoming. Yeah, uh, harvest in the Nuka-Cola factory. To the north, the Nuka-Cola factory lays derelict. We can salvage bottles inside for caps and maybe add a little R&R &R along the way. If there's enough cola to be had. Well, looks like it's that time. Standing rock time. As we escape from hardship, too, of course. But, uh, yeah. I don't think we're really ready, but we'll do the best we can. Um, they can't guard the entire front line. I, we can. Uh, oh. You know what? Maybe we'll go here to here. You know, I wanted to make an encirclement, but it looks like there's no one there. Can we pierce them? Yeah, we can pierce them. They can kind of pierce us, too, but, you know, whatever. If that's the case, I guess we're going to go in here, and then go in here, and then go in here. Boom. Let's see what we can do. Adaptive chain of command's good. We move this to this episode pretty quickly. Get uh, Bowman. You know what? How about you don't attack? Let's see where else can we do some damage. How about here? Uh, one, two, three. And then what? Escape from hardship is good and all. We're raising our conscription level as well. The Wyoming Calm. The Calm Jove of Wyoming is inviting to much of the wasteland with rumors of our hard work. Uh, like minded individuals have begun to arrive from all over and stopping caravaneering. Vast steps for miles, and nothing but vast tracts of land in between. While many great ranches dot the landscape, few connections have been established between such places. A gurging caravaneering would be key to reasonable economic growth. Let's do that. I want you to stop here, and I want you to stop there. See what you can do. Point two years ahead of time. Uh, construction seems like a good idea. Doing all right in the south, which actually would probably be a good place to attack as well. Um, but that's okay. There you go. You know what? You guys are there too. Good job. Don't let him move. Don't let him move. See your hidden valleys? Very nice. Go in here and then do that. There you go. It's not going to be pretty, but one way to encircle some enemies. You might want to help out here too. There you go. I mean, it is two divisions, and not, the horses aren't weak. The horses can be actually very strong. From the Dakota Republic. Despite our best efforts to remain contained, the marshals must make their stand. The people of Dakota need strong leadership, and we're going to have to be equipped to give it to them. Oh, once we destroy the Standing Rock, we can form the Dakota Republic. More attack, better resistance target, better daily compliance. Oh, okay. Nice. Are they only calm? Yeah, we could use a vampire, definitely. Oh, do they actually free them? What the heck? Guys. How we do better? You're not going to continue attacking. I absolutely will not allow that. At least not like this. You're going to keep them in place. You're going to help out. Why can you not win here? Because the power armor is not very good. Well, someone's going to die here. And it's not going to be us. There you go. Now go in and finish the job. Yeah, this power armor is really bad. God. Okay, at least that's good. Mm. 
think you're waiting up for these guys. Military Academy officers would be nice. I think we'll wait. Alright, so you guys are just spreading out like cancer. Not good. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. It's fine. They want to do that? Well, then we'll go around them too. Because they don't have enough divisions for the front line. So, and while they can't beat a lot of us up, that ain't going to be enough. We should probably research chem companies. There you go. Find them and kill them. Wyoming calm was good. The settling light winds. The settling winds of Wyoming have been inviting premonition to travelers and wayfarers alike. Dozens of people pass through our lands, more and more staying every day. Can you guys actually win here, maybe? That'd be nice. Um, yeah, I'll do that one too. There you go, good. Um, he's actually a, a field marshal too. I might upgrade him. Become another field marshal as well. Pull this division out, maybe. Yeah, let me think about it first. You know what? Since you're up here, I'll take him out. Good. Keep finding those horses and destroy them. We hate enemy horse divisions. Boop, boop. choice. Man needs to understand the world around it. Man needs to evolve with the world around it. Yeah, why not? We'll do that one. Okay, well, you all go in here. One at a time, please. One at a time. Should be able to get rid of them pretty quickly. At least I hope so. metal. Sure. So they have quite a few divisions in the south. We're going to continue moving up north here and just circle these guys. There you go. The settling winds. Oh, why not? Growing industrial power. The wild fields run our settlements are slowly filling with the slowly filling with the signs of industry and progress. Our hands shape Wyoming even further. Grassy Butte. Hey, what you doing? There we go. Clay working. Up and out. I want to come back, huh? You can, but your guys are going to be dead. Yeah, give him a place, why not? Run him down and circle and circle and circle. And there goes the last shell. Nice. Good. So we've lost 400 versus 1,000. They've got 37 divisions left. That's not bad. Keep them all in play. I think we'll be good enough to go now. We're going to incur quite a few casualties, but that's alright. It happens. Go ahead. Uh, rebooting power stations. The stars can only guide us so well. A proper power station could help us see at night and well heater if we can find a functioning one that is. Wouldn't hurt either. I'm going to tell these guys to move around here like this. Uh, you definitely. Hello. Come on, mouse. Go there. You might not even take that. You might take White Horse and that's it. Oop. Circumstances are good. The power armor deal with them. Good.
Walking tanks are good too. And principle. It's a principle, not purity, but principle that matters the most. Come on guys, let's do better than this, please. Tools to build home. Scavenging in the baseline of any way sense society. A trade both despised and respected by the majority. Equipping scavengers to go and see what they can find, or what they'll get, will save us a lot of legwork. Good. You're all gonna come in here because they can't do that by themselves. There you go, finally, my god. We got plenty of money now. We're gonna hurt ourselves even more. Um, put some more labs. Ah, oh, there we go. We got him. Awesome. Look at that. The Marsh Republic's pretty large. And within the first episode, we have formed the Dakota Republic. As Marsh Republic, United Dakota. Not bad. Um, still a lot of resistance here. Uh, they don't. Need we form the Dakota Republic, but we don't get any cores. That really sucks. We're going to have to deal with the Sisters of Steel and Ruminators, too. The refineries. Though they most certainly stay in the views, numerous derelict facilities or factories dot the landscape. Let's see if we can't get some of them back online. Building ourselves up. To build a civilized society, you must be capable of building in the first place. The scavengers we've employed and the power station will help us get the proper equipment to try and start expanding. Computers and other gizmos. The dull glow of the screen lights up our office. While it's tenuous that what they grant over pen and paper, many voices proclaiming that the future is now. Home on the frontier. No matter how amazing the land may be without food to sustain it, it won't host for very, anything for very long. Looking into agricultural concerns would suit us well, and nowhere could be home too. Another research lot. Well, home is a beautiful place, though most certainly nowhere, but where else is there to be in this world if not nowhere? But I think we went there. Look at our flag. That's cool. Love about Jeff Reed. Um, so we went there, and between this episode and the next, we're going to work on our compliance gain. We're going to be working on getting ready to go to the Sisters of Steel, the Ruminators, and Northern Cons. We've got enemies still all around us, and that's going to be doing fun to beat the crap out of them. So if you enjoyed the first episode of us playing as is the Dakota Republic, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as we'll see what else we can do with the Dakota Republic. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.